This is the real life adventures of three boys, three girls, and four countries. Working with the orphans in Romania, the railways in India, sheep farming in Iceland, and cotton picking in Louisiana. This, this is, is Trex 2. two. <laughs> Do we rule? We Sorry. rule. On an island of 39,756 square miles and a population of only 280,000, the Trex team will be living on a stormy, virtual ghost island. The team will be split into three pairs and live on three different farms. The summer season is coming to a close as the team arrive from India. There, ready to meet them, will be colder temperatures and plenty of pollution-free, wide-open spaces and 15,000 sheep. Adam is sharing with Lucy, the new arrival. I'm Lucy, I'm 16 and I'm from Reading and I'm studying for my A-levels. Uh, we're in Iceland, sheep farming, and it's very cold. I expected it all to be snowy and everything, but it's... Uh, it's really green. It's a bit of a mixture between Scotland and America. Um, while I'm replacing Lorna, who dropped out in Romania, I'm taking over from her diary. And I've read it and I've got to know her a little bit through the diary. She's uh, quite unusual. And uh, she seems to take quite a negative view, like right from the start, even in London. Um, Sasha and Rachel are really good friends now because they've been together for ages. So they're quite a couple. and. I feel a bit left out sometimes, like, you know, when they're in the two, but I get on really well with the boys, so it's fine. So what's it been like being paired up then? It's a bit... <laughs> you just, oh, it's a bit boring, no offence. No, it's, it's a bit boring, I feel like. Yeah, and I wish everybody else were here. Because you need to change scenery. And because they don't talk to us either. And you run out of things to say, it just gets boring. I'd hate to live here, but for, for a week or two, it's, it's really good fun because it's a change from the norm. I'd hate to live here. There's hardly any people. They all know each other. When we first came here, on this first night, I said, um, can I get a bath or a shower? And she said, no, because we've got no co uh, wa cold water. So then she said, come out into the bath, right? So I came outside and she's pointed to this. In this tub. <laughs> to the tub. But when you get in it, it's actually really, really nice because it's really warm. <laughs> this is Christian. He's the uh, the son of the people we're staying with, and he's two, and he's really sweet. <laughs> hey, Christian, Christian. Say it in an Icelandic accent. Christian. Oh, he knows what he's doing. He knows his job. That's it. Close the door. Lock it. Go down. It's rusty. Well trained. <laughs> I love them. I, love them. I just want to babysit them all day and then give them back to the mothers at night when they get all rowdy. They're so sweet. But I like a baby. Yeah, when they're about uh, eight or nine years old and old enough to understand that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Don't no. cry early in the morning, please. When they reach the age of ten, they get annoying. Yeah. Too young to have a baby. Yeah, too young. Way too young. I won't be able to handle it. <laughs> but getting up early in the morning and they, they were making so much noise this morning, I'm just not used to the uh, people around. It's got this dis disorientated. It's like, I'm here. 
My little brother at home actually makes noise in the morning, but you can actually go out the door and tell him to shut up, and then he does. So it's different here. So you have to get up. <laughs> you can't get back to sleep. <laughs> There's about 1,200 sheep here at the moment, and they're, they're just gathering them from all the all around the uh, hills and the mountains. And eventually, they'll put them into the other pens and uh, separate them up. And they can tell that what sheep are theirs because they've had their their ears cut, so they can identify what sheep they are. It's really muddy and khaki and horrible and squelchy. Squelchy. It's sticky mud though. It's so mud. I was a kid, I'd yeah. love to do it, like try yeah. having mud fights. It's the sort of thing you want to chuck yourself in and slide yeah. along. It's good fun. The farmers have been up since 4 a.m. herding the sheep and drinking schnapps to keep warm. By now, 6 p.m., they're feeling the effects. Shoo! I'm good job. Good job. Good John. Good John. Good. It's, <laughs> it's very. My little girl. Funny. Eh? It's a very small. One was shown. Mm. Um. Mm. What? Sometimes it can be a bit annoying. Sometimes you can be a bit of a whinger. A bit of a what? Whinger. A whinger. Only when you're annoying. Better than Britain. Sorry? <laughs> is the weather better than Britain? No. Is it? Is it? I don't understand. Hey! <laughs> it made. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's cold. Cool. And it scared me a bit. Scary. Yeah. Scary. scary, scary monsters like David Bowie. We like who? You're scared of David. Freaks. You're scared of David Bowie. I'm not scared with David Bowie. This horse eat grass, green grass. We have we have been on the mountain. Have you been drinking? <laughs> drinking. big sheep pen where all the sheep have come off the mountains that have been up there all summer and they're all in a big pen thing and we've got to find your sheep and put them in your pen. Because the sheep's got a little code on it and um, ours says 1994, she's got to sort them put it into the little pen so they can so sort what on. ones go for slot. Come on then. It's the busiest day of the year. 15,000 sheep have been brought down from the mountains after spending the summer grazing. They belong to several farms and it will be the Trex team's first job to sort them into the two dozen farms by identifying them from their ear markings. Not as easy a task as it sounds. Yeah, you'll grab a sheep with tag on its left right ear. So I'll grab this one then. And you check, minute. you check. Well great then. That's not it, that's not one. Oh, they've got earwax as well, it's minging. There's one here. That's wrong ear, that's wrong ear. It's got to be on the right ear and there's a cut on the left. Strong. Well. That one. Rich. Wow. Rachel. For Adam, it's a good opportunity to get to know Lucy. 
she's at a distinct disadvantage joining the team halfway through, so Adam is ensuring that she's made to feel part of things. All the farm, farms let their sheep roam free and they get mingled together, so they have to bring them all down from the mountains together, working together, then bring them through into here and then separate them, each individual uh, sheep off into its um, separate pens. And they can tell the difference between them by tags on their ears or cut slits in their ears or they have no tags at all. And there's absolutely thousands of sheep. I keep seeing all the Lucy and Adam's sheep, but... None of those. I know. I'm, I'm getting into it. I am. Um, at first, I was a bit scared of a sheep, but now it's. I'm alright. I yeah. just grab them and ride them away. You just got. You just got to show them who's boss, really. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. Sean, come and help me with this one. It's got no horns and it's really difficult. It's not moving. What number? Up. Two. Have it, your mother. I ate her and spat her back out when I was finished. We've got to watch out for the horns, don't we? Because he's just going to have these bruises on our legs. Yeah, I've got like that. loads of bruises down my leg where it's horn. Yeah. Because you've got to, you've got to, you've got to actually mount the sheep from from behind, grab their horns, and just like literally almost sit on them. And their horns, they try and back off a bit as well, so their horns like dig into your legs like that. It's quite painful. I've got a couple of bruises as well. When I was picking up a lamb back there, it's uh, I picked it up and this other lamb, uh, its horn went right in its eye. I heard it squelch. Oh, you didn't tell me Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Oh, it was rancid. Oh. <laughs> it just carried on though. It's, it's going a bit nuts. <laughs> I had to carry one with this, all this blood dripping down its face. And then sometimes the horns nearly come off when you're trying to hold them because yeah. they're so heavy. Yeah. You have to like pick the front legs up so they like jiggle in your hands. There's this, um, two co three coach loads of um, school kids from a local school or something. They come and watch and um, ride on the sheep and have a good time, really. It's a bit like when we visit farms, I guess. Yeah. It's funny, but they, some, there's quite a few kids off from the farms as well. They, they know what they're doing, what they're looking for. But you see them try and hold on to these sheep while they're being dragged along through the mud. It's quite funny. No. Oh, oh, the horn just wobbled. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's got to be me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Don't go near that one. <laughs> You'll probably break it. Right, this one. That one. Is it? It looks like it. 20 M4. Yeah! Let me get one? it. Living together is proving to be quite stressful for Sasha and Sean. The isolation from the other trekkers and the lack of any entertainment, except counting sheep, is taking its toll. With nowhere to go and with no English language TV and only Sean for company, Iceland is set to test Sasha to the breaking point. We're sheep farming in Iceland. It's very hectic. There's about, how many sheep is there about? 15,000 15, sheep. And we're going to be here till about half nine tonight. I keep getting my hands trapped between the horns, it's horrible. <laughs> Look at that one. <laughs> Some are really dopey as well. Um, Come on, give me one. We all seem to be getting on quite well. Don't worry. <laughs> and how are you two getting on? All right. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, no. Look. <sighs> Just let me get on your back, for God's sake. And what do we think of the new girl then? Yeah, she's alright. She's sound. She's a good laugh. Well up for it. Not literally like that with you, but. Um... <laughs> Aww, don't worry. Could you mind? Oh, good work out of this, isn't it? It is, isn't it? It's not weightlifting, it's sheep lifting. It's what? This sheep one? Lifting. This oh, one? it's got little horns. Scraggy little biffer. Get out of it. Best looking out of the girls is probably Lucy. A bald tick. Okay. A what? What did you just say then? A what? Bald tick. Bald. 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 Not bald. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, right, let's go get some more. Feisty in that thing. I'll grab the next one. Oh. Teamwork. Come on, you little beasties. I've got this one. Okay. Go, Adam. <laughs> Adam seems to like her because, like, when we were in uh, India, we'd already like paired up, said who's going with who, and it, Adam was like, "Oh, well, fine, I'll go with uh, Juicy Lucy," and he was, he was well happy. He was more happy than me. <laughs> I'm stuck with that. Thanks. No. You're a sweet girl. Adam's really funny. Uh, he's like a little brother type, he's really lovely, and uh, Ozzy is really just really relaxed, you can talk to him, you can have a laugh with him or just be serious with him. Give me a nice thing to say about Sean. I generally can't think of one. I mean, he's alright, don't get me wrong, and I could get on with him sometimes, but he's annoying. Put it to Sean. It's just a situation we've been put in, really. Different people, different personalities. If you don't get on, you don't get on. Simple as that. No, I don't hate him. We just don't get on very well. Right, okay. Got one. Except it wouldn't stand up. Oh, that one that looked like a lamb was leg. actually a sheep, and I brought it over here and nice. then I had to take it over there. I've it done that so, so many times. Stubborn. <laughs> Wouldn't move. I had to drag it. Tomorrow we've got to milk the cows, so we've got to get up early. Probably uh, about six. six. So a bed early tonight, love. Yeah. Now a double bed. No, it's not. <laughs> Two singles. Mine's all the way over the other side of the room. <laughs> It's not gonna happen. <laughs> You've got no chance, love. <laughs> you stay your side, I stay mine. I couldn't agree more with you, Sean. <laughs> this is my space. That's your space. Just wanna sit down on a sheep or something. Quite comfortable. I bet you could lie on that. Yeah. Crowd surfing. Yeah, just jump right across it's and so just, cool. yeah, let the sheep take you. <laughs> Hello. You're an ugly looking thing, aren't you? Look at this scrawny little runt. <laughs> no Who chance mean? whatsoever. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, this is us. Is that one? That one there. Yeah, just keep hold of it. You can. Stop moving. For Adam and Lucy, it's a long six-hour ride home to their farm. Horse riding is a first for them both. Lucy seems to be fitting in well so far. She might be walking in Lorna's footsteps, but she is determined not to make her mistakes. Okay, go. I'm uh, following the 
sheep to get them from the pen to the uh, farm. And I'm trying to control this horse, but it won't do anything. Adam's here. Hello. Whoa. I feel like the Lone Ranger's sat up here. Um, basically, we've got to keep the sheep going in a straight line uh, back to the farm. They, they know their way, basically. Um, but what we've got to do is... Uh, the camera shot. Up. Up. <laughs> is keep the sheep on the road and away from the path. So, yeah. That, that's the job. Yeah. Come on. Um, I think I think it's really good actually. It's good fun. Uh, first time on horseback really, and actually getting down and doing some real work. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Stop. Turn around. Yeah, Lucy, she's really nice. Yeah, I think we're getting along. Uh, we're just getting along with the rest of the team as well. She's fitted in like a a piece of jigsaw really that just fits. It's uh, doing really well. Well, I better move on actually because this horse is uh, really raring to go. Cause they, they know the way home and they're just really tired and hungry, so better trot off. <laughs> Whoa. Stop. Hopefully, Lucy will make it back with the others in time for dinner. Roast lamb, I believe. <laughs>